it's me if you're new to my channel please hit the subscribe button and welcome um i just had a baby after almost well by the time he was born it was almost five years infertility that we had went through and uh we adopted our son two years ago almost so anyways welcome I want to give my six week postpartum update. Things have been nuts. As you know, if you saw my last video, Wesley was in the NICU and he got out after 15 days of being in there. He was home a total of 16 days. And not this past Thursday, but the Thursday before that. He got readmitted to the hospital for pneumonia, so they treated him for that, and we got out on Monday um, morning, and then Tuesday, his doctor called us into his office, and his doctor told us that um, his blood work had showed that he had a blood infection, and they wasn't sure if he really did or didn't, but... They needed to treat him as if he did, just in case. So he readmitted him last Tuesday, and he got out on Thursday morning after rounds of two different very strong antibiotics through his IV at five weeks old, which is kind of scary. And uh, he had had antibiotics, breathing treatments, um, and a humidifier when they treated him for pneumonia. Too, so he was full of antibiotics last week and then um, he did last uh, he got out this past Thursday from being treated for sepsis is what they determined it was still don't know if he really had it or not but after Thursday it looked better so Thursday night out of the random blue he spiked 102 fever so um, we took him to the hospital. It was 102.8. He was having trouble breathing. Like, he was like, you could see it, him pushing out the air and with his stomach. He was having such trouble. And uh, he was like, his skin was splotchy all over. And, um, anyways, they put him on oxygen and they admitted him yet again. And his fever didn't break until like Sunday and then we got out on Sunday he still wasn't acting like he's feeling good and then Sunday night his fever started again <sighs> it didn't get too high this time the highest I got was 100.9 all the way into Monday morning and then it broke Monday morning and it was good so I have no idea what happened um we just got back from his doctor right now today's Thursday and his doctor wanted to see him like a follow-up visit from being out of the hospital so everything looked good the only thing we found out he was anemic like from his blood work and his white blood cells were low but in the normal range um so last week alone he had he had four IVs total felt so bad for him um, the second time the pediatrician admitted him for sepsis, um, they had phyllobotomists come from, uh, downstairs in the hospital up there to get his blood work, and they admitted after the fact that they had never done blood work on a baby before, and it clearly showed they dug and dug and dug in his arms and his legs, never even got a blood sample, and just busted all of his veins. So it was a disaster. We requested for NICU to come. NICU, because we know those nurses, they came and they nailed it. They still had a hard time, but they got it pretty, a lot better than the other guys. So by the third hospital trip on Thursday, he didn't have any veins left. So they put a IV in his head and I'll insert a picture here. Yeah, so it looked really painful, and he cried and cried and cried that night and all of Friday night. And finally, the doctor at the hospital was like, maybe 
it's hurting him so they moved it finally on Saturday they were able to move it to a vein on his arm thank God it looks so painful and it was moving when he would move his head there was like cotton behind it but it would move so I'm sure it really was hurting him after that he seemed better so I don't know but yeah, so as you can tell, it's been crazy. He's been basically in the hospital more than he's been at home. Which sucks for, like, I feel, like, deprived. Like, I missed a lot of his first six weeks. And the newborn stage, he's already getting out of the newborn stage. He's staying awake a lot more, which I love the stage he's in. But I, I... I'm sad I didn't get to enjoy his little bitty newborn stage. He um, he weighs today. He weighed eight six, but I don't really think that's accurate because he had on clothes and everything. So probably more. Yesterday when we went to a different appointment for him, he was seven fourteen. So he's somewhere in that range, and he was naked when they weighed him at seven fourteen. That's probably more like it, really. Anyways, he was 4'11 when he was born. And um, so he's gained quite a bit of weight, which is great. He was 18, in, 18 inches or 18 and a half inches. I think 18 and a half inches long when he was born. And now he was 19 yesterday. So he's grew a half an inch, too, which is great. Um, as far as me postpartum, I'm feeling a lot better. I still have days where my back kills me. My incision's healing great. It's not healed. Like, if I bump it or I move a certain way, sometimes I feel it. But otherwise, I'm feeling great incision-wise. Um, my back kills me, though. Some days, it's like I barely can move. Um, and where they put the um, epidural and the spinal. I don't know which one it's from or if it's separate needles or what but yeah that's where my back kills me at and some days I like barely can function it hurts so bad other days I'm fine so yeah uh, as far as emotional I thought I was dabbling in postpartum depression within the first week or two but I wasn't sure if it was that or because of everything going on with him, him being in the hospital and all that. But um, this past week it was the same. He's in the hospital again, of course. But I've really, the depression really kicked in and I'm still battling it. Um, I thought it was because he was in the hospital, but it continued after he got out. And I talked to my doctor on Tuesday about my, uh, at my appointment where she released me. And she prescribed me meds. Um, I haven't had like any, like, thoughts of doing anything to the baby or doing anything to myself. But, uh, just crazy thoughts in general, uh, otherwise, and just feeling very like depressed so today's a better day I haven't been that really down um but I have not she prescribed me Zoloft and if you've taken that before while you're breastfeeding please let me know your experience I have not started it because I'm breastfeeding and today I felt better and I'm like the less chemicals I can put into him the better you know what I mean um, of course, I do need the help, but I don't, I don't want to take it like on better days like today because I don't want to do that to him. And so, anyways, if you've taken that medicine, she started me on a low dose of 50 milligrams. Um, let me know your experience, if it had any side effects on you or the baby, etc. So. Otherwise, recovery-wise, I'm feeling great. Um, I'm just, I've lost a lot of weight, and I'll show you here. Six weeks, three days postpartum. So, I still have my stretch marks, so that my stomach is not down a lot. And then 
incision right there. I lost 22 pounds. I only gained 18. So, so yep. as you can see, I'm healing well, I'm losing weight, and I'm happy. I'm the skinniest I've been in a long time, almost since we got married. I'm only seven, I got seven more pounds to go before I get to my weight I was when we got married. So I'm excited about that. Um, I haven't been that, like I said, since we about got married. And then from there, I want to keep going and lose more weight. So it's going pretty good. Otherwise, now that he's home, if we can keep him home, that would be fantastic. He needs to get the memo to stop pulling stunts <laughs> so he can stay home. But anyways, he's precious. I'll insert a picture from earlier when I, um, I had to get blood work to make sure I don't have diabetes anymore from the pregnancy. It was a two hour test and he went with me and then we had his follow up visit from with his pediatrician afterwards. So I'll insert a really cute picture of him here. Hi everybody. Say hello. It's little angel. Six weeks, three days. thank y'all for watching um please let me know below like some content you would like me to do i still got to put up the pregnancy vlog i mean not pregnancy labor and delivery vlog anyways that's a crazy story in itself part of the reason i haven't put it up is because it's still hard for me to think about or talk about it did not go at all like i wanted it to go and um as you can say I still haven't came to terms with it or grieved it you could call it but anyways regardless I'm happy he's here and he's finally healthy but yeah anyways thank y'all for watching y'all have a great day bye